airclips.com Good morning, guys. Welcome to Buochs in Stans, Switzerland for another episode of Airclips.com's Ultimate Cockpit Movies with a special movie, as you can see here, right next to me. Good morning, Uli. And uh, today we will film another episode for our special Uli.Airclips.com. Patrick, you got to do it right, okay? We are in Switzerland, so it's Salut miteinander, wie schaut's? <laughs> which means in Swiss German, good morning, guys, how are you? I'm happy to have you here and um, I'm looking forward to a great day. Um, yeah, I'm not typewriter for Schweizerdeutsch yet. Thank you very much. So what are we going to do here today? You know Oli from various films about his beautiful PC12 NGX. And uh, you may also know that Oli is, a, is a, an avid um, um, lover, I would say, of the PC12. is really um, enjoying flying it and is promoting it as well. And uh, now Oli wants to take it for a new level. And today we're here for flying the beautiful PC-24 jet. And Uli actually will get a presentation here to find out whether this could be a suitable new aircraft for him in future. So that should be interesting, huh? Yes, but that's exactly it. You know, the PC-12 I started loving because it's such a great airplane and I'm not being paid by Pilatus. It's just I'm very convinced by the plane and what I've seen, what I've experienced in the past, roughly 160 hours flying the plane. I think it's a great product. And, um, you know, always out there looking for new things, looking for new adventures, looking for new challenges. I was thinking, well, let's try the PC-24. Let's see how it is and how it feels. And could there be something that I would love to have in the future? I'm not too sure because the PC-24 might be a very, very good plane. But I believe at this time, for me, the best plane is a PC-12. But I'm open-minded and uh, I'm happy to see, you know, what's, what's out there today. And what Pilatus is going to do with us today is taking us for a roughly one hour flight time trip. Uh, we're going to have uh, a total of three landings. Uh, the first one will be in the city of Grenchen. The second one will be in the city of... Gstaad. Uh, Gstaad, okay. Yes. Sorry, that was a running gag because both yeah. of us had a tendency forget to forget all the, the second. Time, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, well done. I forgot it again. So, and then we go back here. But into actually, Bors. it's a city of Gstaad, but the airport is called Zahnen, which is a very nice airport. We're going to go into the city of Grenchen. And for you guys that are familiar with flying, it's a, I believe it's an RP approach. So, it's, a, it's an, I, an IFR approach, which will guide us all the way to the runway. In uh, Zahnen, in Gestart, it's a VFR approach, so we have to use visual rules, which could be a bit tricky today because of a lower cloud base, but I believe it's going to be okay. And then back to Buos, it's also a visual approach being, oh no, it's not a visual approach because we're flying under a Pilatus call sign and the pilots from Pilatus are allowed to, do, to use an IFR approach into Buos. So we'll see it's going to be a challenging day, especially for me because it's IFR, it's some clouds up there, and it's a completely new airplane and uh, a lot, a lot more power of what I'm being used to. Just before we get into the briefing area, um, we get a little factory tour here. Guys, uh, Franz was actually involved in selling me my PC-12. I've, I've known him since years. We've seen him on many uh, air shows, uh, many expositions, where I always kept looking at the PC-12, and I'm very excited to see what he has to offer and what he has on display today. Um, I've been to the Pilatus factory uh, many times before, but I think you'll enjoy the tour today because it's quite interesting. Um, if you think of a factory, normally you think about oil and about heat, and about uh, sweating people, but here you can actually eat from the floor. And um, their, uh, their factory restaurant is probably one of the best restaurants I've known, not only due to the food, but also due to the scenery, the setting, where you look at the beautiful Alps. So um, if you ever have the chance to visit Pilatus in Stans, 
it's more than a factory, it's a lifestyle. And when you see what they're producing here today, looking at all the PC-12s, it's, uh, it's mind-blowing. I think they produce uh, airplanes here like uh, a bakery is producing bread. It's very, very breathtaking and very interesting. I'm looking forward for the tour. We are in hall 25 here. It's a wooden hall. Very it's all big. made out of wood. All, all local wood. Oh, nice. And uh, you can also see the different uh, wood we have, uh, like we have here. Okay. And you see the, the PC-24 production and the PC-12 PC production here. I mean, if you look at this, how many PC-12s you make here? It must be like almost 100 or something. We make 85 PC-12 and 45 PC-24. That's a lot of airplanes. Huh? And what you see here is, is the first step after the, the aircraft production, also the riveting and, and everything. Right. Look at this. If you, after we installed the, the cable loom, we check all the cables if they are uh, manufactured properly. So we do not want smoke if we, if we do power on first time. So this is checked here. All, Ooh, that's a lot of cable. Do we have the chance to go down and look at all these cables? We can do that. That's really, really... Guess how, how many technology. kilometers cable are in the PC-24? I don't know. I would get, guess maybe five kilometers? 20. 20 kilometers of cable. 20 on the PC-24 and 10 kilometers on the PC-12. Unreal, unreal. But you see the shift between the PC-12 and the PC-24, so that it is, there is the actually a lot more PC-12 that you're building. Yes. Okay, it's cheaper, it's more efficient, and it's a much bigger price tag, so it's obvious, but still, you know. So here you can see the cable loom production. You must be kidding me. So you lay out the whole cable loom? All handmade. You lay it all out here, and then you put it into the plane? Yes. That's unreal. Every single cable is laid with, uh, with by hand, the lathe is here. No, that's very dedicated work. No, that's unreal. But well, that's very the way to go, right? It's much, much cheaper to detect the, the, any problem here than to detect it once it's in the plane, right? Yes. So we do all in-house here. And it's, oh, a, it's a proven process and no problems at all. Well, that's, that's the name of Pilatus, right? Yes. She, now she reads which kind of cable it is. She marks it off that she has it. And then it's an option. Then she, she adds it to the cable boom. And the cables are all markiert, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every cable has a name, huh? Yeah. 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 Genau. That's the option. Okay. So every single cable has a name, huh? Yes. Every single name. Every single cable has a name. This is the finished standard cable loom, and now she puts in the options the the customer choose. Show us how you do. A lot of detail work, yeah? Then you start understanding the price of the plane, right? Yes. When you see that. Every single cable is, is, is worked like this. Impressive, huh? A lot of detail work. Yes. And it needs to be done properly because otherwise it can have horrific uh, and horrific after math after play if you do something wrong we can do an exemption and go down and have a look that's good to the aircraft we like exemptions you see this chick always we can turn we can turn, turn the chick. you never have over over head work yeah, yeah. always in front of like you this. PC-24, clear wing, one piece. But this you buy, right? This you don't make yourself. We make by ourselves. You make Everything yourself? by ourselves. The fuselage also? Fuselage also. Okay. We have a new production hall, especially for the PC-24. Okay, where? On the other side of the road. Okay. And you see, it's one piece, always. Salut. Salut. So turnaround time for the aircraft for the PC-24 is around eight months and for the PC-12 is around six months. That's quick, yeah, for building yeah, a whole airplane. Quick. And these are the little trainers, huh? Yes. Also very nice. Now that's a lot of cables, huh? When you look at this, you can't believe that it actually works afterwards, huh? That's the cable I mentioned. When we have the cable loom in, we check everything 
Okay. You see the attachment points for the wings? So the wing is, is one piece and, the, and, and, the, and the, the fuselage comes above. Okay. That's why we have the little belly, the nice belly on the aircraft. Okay. So the Pilatus DNA with the, with the door, with the, the standalone remote landing capabilities. Yep. Short takeoff and landing. And gravel and grass. Gravel and grass. This okay. one is not so expensive. Why? Because it's all empty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can see the marriage. It's already done. The marriage is when they put in the... The wing okay. and then the, the fuselage okay. on top. And you can see the attachment points. You see the attachment points there? Yeah. So where are we now? We are in hole 9. It's also a wooden hangar. I think it's a... One of the biggest wooden handles in, in Europe, it's 7,000 square meters without pillars. You see no pillars here? Unreal. So uh, here we do the final assembly. Before we go for test flight, everything will be installed here. And if the aircraft has two or three flights, may, maybe just one, if everything is okay, we come back, do the final work, and then we, we go for, for the customer acceptance delivery. and delivery. Nice. Yeah. Nice, and this is all PC-12 and this is On this 24. side more or less PC-12, on this side PC-24. Okay. And we have big space for storage. We can we have hail season sometimes in, in summertime, so okay. we, we storage the aircraft, easy to move. This aircraft was developed by our clients. We asked our clients or the PC-12 clients, what would you have, ne what would you like to have next? The next step, okay. They say it a little bit bigger. A little bit faster. And a little That's bit higher. Faster, yeah, bigger, course, higher. A little bit higher. But still having the cargo door and everything. Everything. The whole DNA of the of the of the PC twelve is there as well. How many years did it take you to develop it? Uh, it took about ten years from the first study till the end. So uh, and, and we did something imp really impossible that we we, we certified the aircraft in December and we delivered the first aircraft in February. So it's oh unbelievable. Yeah. That's crazy. So that's really a huge milestone in the, in the history of Pilatus. And in the history of aviation because it's very short. Yeah. Nobody believed we can do that, but we did. Like your competitors, they announce an airplane and five years later it's not flying. Yeah. Yeah? You know which one you're talking about, right? If we communicate the date, we do it. And that's true, that was true with my degree as well. Well, let's go flying though. Yeah, huh? okay. it's time for sniff now. <laughs> let's go flying. We're here in the briefing with, uh, together with Theodor Spichtig, alias uh, Teddy. He's the most senior pilot uh, from Pilatus. I already had the pleasure of having a training with him uh, in my PC-12, uh, which was supreme. And I'm very happy that today he will be my well, let's say safety pilot on the PC-24, because without him, I'd be pretty sure very lost. And um, now we're in the briefing room and Teddy will give me some insight on what to expect today, what we can do, what we shall do, which airports we're going to, and about the specialities of these airports. Good, yeah. Uh, as Uli mentioned, Teddy Spichtig, I'm uh, uh, working for Pilatus Aircraft since 1999. And I have the pleasure now to, um, to do that flight with Uli, this demo flight on the 24. Um, and we are actually planning um, from Burgs to depart around uh, 10.30. And the first one, Uli, would be an IFA flight uh, to Grenchen. Mm -hmm. So I believe the, the best thing is we just do everything standard, an IFA A to B, and then we do um, a full stop in Grenchen. Huh? It will be out of Willisau, I believe, right? It will be out of Willisau, so we, we, we depart on the Willisau to Alpha. Uh, we slow down. I, I uh, recommend you to do not more than 180 on that flight. That's what I told you guys in the introduction. Yeah. If you stay on the throttle with the PC-24, it comes out differently than with the PC-12 or with the Cirrus. Uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. So 
Um, and we have actually not a high altitude profile planned, uh, so we stay actually below the clouds today, not because of it, just because we have so short legs yes. planned. Uh, so it would be um, that Grenchen full stop. I go with the right engine to QPM and just hold there for 10 minutes. We, we start up again, mm -hmm. the second engine, go out of QPM, start up again and ask for taxi. What is QPM? A quiet power mode. Oh, okay. So this quiet power mode is unique on the PC24 oh, and I didn't the know Williams that. engine. We are allowed to use the right hand, uh, the right hand engine in that quiet power mode. But essentially, it's a cooling mode. So it's it's used for moderate temperatures or warm temperatures because we're gonna shut off. If you go into that low idle mode with a bezel button on the PFD we actually um, um, reduce the RPM of the engine to a low height. So then it, but it acts as a generator then, it is that correct? It acts actually only as a, as, a, as a generator engine. Yeah. So when you say we slow down between Buos and Grenchen, how slow can you go with the PC24 that it's still safe? 100 uh, knots you, in, you clean, in clean configuration? Clean configuration, uh, a perfect speed. The minimum speed uh, we recommend is 135 knots indicated. So one question now, the most important question for me, because you know I'm thinking about maybe in the future uh, of getting a PC24. What I love so much about the PC12 is a short runway performance. So now we have an NCC plane if I fly it with, uh, without an AOC, and we have the factoring of 1.6 on the NCC. We have to calculate the runway performance with one engine out. How low can you go on runway length? I mean, um, the landing, uh, you, have, you talk about the landing factor. Landing and especially the takeoff factor, because I think the takeoff factor is the most limiting, right? What we just have to um, realize on the takeoff, we have to calculate with one engine. a performance tool the one engine out condition to clear the obstacles. You know, one engine out with the PC12, we would have very, very long runways, right? Exactly. So it's kind of sad that they do that. So with one engine out, how low can you go on a takeoff uh, ISA and, um, and max takeoff weight? One kilometer? Uh, one. Level, um, we were getting around uh, a required field length of around 800 meters. Huh? That's mm -hmm. ISA. Because we talked earlier yeah. about Patrick and I, and I think for me the only limiting factor, PC12 compared to the PC24, is a lesser runway performance, right? Yes. It's the only downside when you compare the PC24 with the PC12 next to the purchasing price and the running costs. Exactly. Yeah, you're limited to, uh, to a bit longer runways because we have to adhere to these rules. And these rules say also if you do private or NCC operation, you have to you have to calculate the engine failure. One engine. If you come to the profile real mm -hmm. quick, so we fly to Grenchen IFR, we go onto the apron, we do the QPM, he changes the camera settings, and then we ask for a VFR taxi mm -hmm. outbound to the west. Mm -hmm. We fly VFR at low altitude, um, around eight thousand five hundred feet, direction uh, Fribourg, and then south towards um, Saanen. Mm -hmm. And then probably... Unfortunately, in Zahn, we cannot use the visual approach function because I've seen that yeah. the traffic circuit is quite awkward. Huh? Yeah. So we're flying um, towards a, to the valley of, of Zahn and probably mm -hmm. runway 26 is going to be in use mm -hmm. because there is southwesterly winds. Um, and we're going to fly uh, left and downwind mm -hmm. along the mountain there at 5,000 feet. And it goes a little bit out to the right and then come back to the It goes out there. along the valley to the right and then we, we, we configure the aircraft gear down um, flap 33. Um, so we make sure once we're top of descent, we, we, uh, we have the configuration already. Okay. So we actually circle more or less around Eckstadt, mm -hmm. then fly towards Schönried, Zahn and Möser, mm -hmm. pass, and then as soon as we can join the center line of two six, we turn in and and do the the final adjustments on the on the pass. Okay. Approach Three. speed. Uh, the approach speed is is also we will buck it. It will be around ninety five knots. And and then um, like you you used on the NGX, point the flight pass symbol onto the runway threshold. Mm -hmm. Make sure we have two whites and two reds on the puppies. Do your small corrections. Make make sure at fifty feet. We have exactly uh, DSP centered, uh, so VREF. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. 
at, because at 50 feet you're going to do power idle and you're going to fly down to 20 feet and start a slow, uh, a slow um, flare. The, flares, the flare is comparable to the PC-12-40 flaps flare or is it less? Or no, it's it, uh, more to 50. much less because we have much more of a ground effect. Because the uh, uh, wings are larger? Or? The wings are larger and the flaps are even more efficient than on the, t on the 12. Okay. So we, we get a real uh, cushioning on, on the flare. So it's more like the flaps 15 flare on the NGX. Exactly. Okay. It's more like that. You don't do that, that much of a flare. Huh? Okay. And this landing we obviously do together uh, because this is, um, um, we want to touch down early into the touchdown zone and then I demonstrate you to uh, a max braking effort. Mm -hmm. So with the full anti-skid, and then you can see the quality of our uh, brakes and, and landing gear system. Um, this is really uh, one of the, the huge advantages. Um, if it comes to um, short runways, if it comes to runways with, 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 which, are, which are wet or contaminated, um, we have a very good... Um, we, have twin we have twin tires, yes. We have twin tires, uh, low pressure tires, so the aircraft is certified to go on to gravel, grass, um, um, but there, because of the additional friction, you have a little bit longer takeoff uh, rolls. Um, the, the landing is might might be similar, but but the takeoff roll is obviously taking longer because you have more uh, more friction, yeah, more resistance, more yeah. For the, exactly. Good. Yeah. Happy, and then we go back to Bourse after that. And then um, we, I don't know what you guys want in. In a, in we want to go along the coast to Saint Tropez, land there, and then come back to Bourse. Okay. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's a bit uh, out of my scope. I have, but um, we could we could just stop again on the apron, um, shut down the engines this time, do a little bit of longer break, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, one, as soon as you guys are ready again, we can start up again and go very far uh, to Bourse. And if you want to do some turns. A little Definitely. Bit more handling and stuff like this. Uh, probably um, the second leg would be best if the weather suits. Um, and if the weather doesn't suit, if you have to, to check for weather because it, there's a, uh, a bit uh, of rain coming and we have to, to check the weather, um, we can also do it on the last leg. So I let okay. you maneuver the airplane a little bit via far. But anyway, the aircraft is hand flown mostly on the second leg, on the third leg. For the first one we can use the automation, but then you, you can hand fly and, and see how beautiful it is to fly, really. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Looking forward. Cool. <lacht> das, das, ist, das macht Spaß, ja? Ja, ja. Uli, the first thing is you can open the door very easily. So it's more or less the same system as we have on the 12. Uh, you should okay. see it feels, it feels similar. Similar um, and a little bit more solid, probably, huh? because we have not the click clock anymore. Mm -hmm. And there's a camera as well. Good, so let's, um, so you see the, the hot leading edge is, is a bit delicate, so don't scratch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's, really, it's really, uh, it's really, uh, you, shall not, you shall not scratch it, huh? You no shall way. not scratch it because you have to polish it afterwards. Okay. And if you polish it too many times, you have to replace it at, at, at one time. So you see um, mechanical um, aileron, mm -hmm. and then we have these here, these four flaps, which are electrically uh, okay. activated and controlled by the UMS. Huh? So we have the inner panels here are the lift dumpers and this is the multi these are the multifunction spo spoilers. Huh? Okay. So they have three functions. They do on the ground as soon as you touch down and you have wheel, weight on wheel and wheel spin up. The, 
the system allows the lift dumpers to come out. Huh? Mm -hmm. And they come out all four panels to, uh, to push you onto the ground to be able to brake hard. Huh? Okay. To do a short field landing. So it's kind of like massive air brakes, right? Yes, it's okay. massive air brakes. And then the second function is in the air, you can use 50% air brake or 100% air brake. So these two flaps come up about around this or this. But in the air, only these, only these air brakes. these, work, yeah. These, these are these... on ground only. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, they shouldn't come in there. That would be catastrophic. Okay. Um, and then you also, we, we mentioned if you um, have deflection of the wheel, mm -hmm. They, and you have flaps, uh, flaps eight out or more, then they deflect um, for roll assist. Okay. Huh? But only with flaps out? Fla only with flaps out, yeah. And okay. that helps if you have turbulence or so to keep the wings level okay. um, and to, to do a nice um, approach in turbulent conditions. Yeah, you see the standard um, cargo door. Uh, you can too. just open it as well real quick. Yeah, exactly. And you're used to this. Opens up a bit harder than the PC12. Yeah, you can just let it go. Okay. And it will go by itself. Yeah, it's just. Uh, oh, okay, so the cargo department is actually part of the cabin if you want, huh? It's part of the cabin, yeah. Um, and there are two options. If you if you have more seats, you can have a small. Uh, you see here, a mm -hmm. small cargo. Okay. Uh, so this is a six feet configuration now. But this is the six plus two configuration. Okay, so this would there. be there's six seats in there now, but you could have two more, right? No, uh, there are actually eight seats. So uh, there's the now last eight two seats, okay. are actually commuter seats. Oh, okay. Huh? Already, then they're in now. They're in now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. So okay. you have the eight seater, and but if you would have, the, for example, a ten seater or an eight seater uh, executive, you might have to to reduce the the baggage so size. So in the cabin, you can have how many seats maximum in the cabin? There is, a, there is a commuter version coming uh, with 10 seats. Okay, and at the moment for normal seats, it would be? It's eight. Eight, totally okay, eight. so it's two more? Two more coming, in the PC yeah. 12. Yeah. Two more than in the PC-12? Yes. Okay. Actually, okay. you can also on the PC-12 have uh, a nine-seater version. Okay, but then it's kind of like small commuter seats, right? Yes, and okay. then there is no laboratory anymore on the PC-12. Okay. Okay. And these are the small commuter seats, yeah. Okay. And, and probably also the, the 10 seat version, the high density will be commuter seats on this airplane, okay. just to, to reduce weight. Nice. Yeah, so you see, very easy to load and also to close again. That's a serious door, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Achtung. Hand wie beim PC12, einfach die Hand offen halten. Hä? Ganz offen. Ja, gut, okay. sehr gut. Okay. 3 and 7 and 8 and 9. Okay. So, green. good. And, and then, yeah, you asked uh, about the ground discharge. That's you a serious see, gear. It's, huh? it's grounding. Um, yeah, uh, a low pressure tires as well. And you see the wheel pins here um, of the brake, like, mm -hmm. similar like on the PC12. Huh? And then we check always the, the hard landing. Um, indication where is this this is this white ring here okay, okay. that needs is to be intact broken? and on and the similar um, uh, on both sides huh? okay uh, also important up here you see after landing we always put uh, zero flaps like and the PC stabilize 12, yeah. it to, to two degrees okay. like on the pc12 and yeah. you check that we always have the right position yeah. of the stabilizer huh? and um, yeah on this side it's more or less the repetition of, of from. Good, okay, wunderbar. Very nice.
Cockpit is a bit bigger than the PC-12, which is nice. Okie dokie. What is this here on the side? Uh, that's the SATCOM. Oh, okay. And you can actually now turn on the left battery. That's this one here. Yep. Okay, so you, don't have, have to, you don't have a standby bus, no? Uh, that's the standby okay. bus. Yeah, we facilitated it a little bit, so you will only reduce it to two switch uh, okay. um, for the batteries. Huh? If you want to take the, the headset. Go to auto here and here. Then we go and do the iPad 3500 and we have uh, five total on board. That's good. And cargo. And 50. we have 50 cargo, yeah. Okay, compute. And then you go uh, to the departure icon, and now we have to quickly do this uh, weight balance. No, which runway? New two, flight. Uh, it's going to be 2 4, yes. And the videos are 2 alpha, right? Exactly, yeah. I put uh, the 8 seater 172 in here. There it is. I'll activate or? Lima Sierra Zulu Charlie, yeah. Uh, you can now, you have to go here. We have to enter the V speed, huh? to Lima Sierra Zulu Golf, enter and create a use. So I just do two pilots fuel. We have three, five, and we're going to use about uh, 500 pounds to get there. And the seats, we have four people. That's good, uh, three people. And we have 50 pounds or something on board. Huh? So that gives us a, a V1. A takeoff. I just update the meter. Use meter. And now we go flaps 8, we said. That's got to be runway 24. So V1 94. We yeah. rotate 99. And V2 110. Okay, and we target 170. Okie dokie, climb straight ahead at first road, initiate right and turn to follow highway E35. So it's a visual uh, escape if okay. you would have an engine failure. Huh? Good, and you can turn the right and battery on now. Good morning, Pilatus 172 requesting startup, according slot for it. Okay, startup approved. One zero one one five three is copied. Pilatus one seven two. Okay, good. Also, then machen wir die Checkliste. Huh? Yeah. Um, jetzt kannst du noch schnell hier reingehen und dann machen wir noch die Landing rein. Das Metar jetzt ist scattered auf tausend. Scattered vier fünf. Use Metar, ja. Variable eins und jetzt. Two four run on off. On off two four, ja, genau und. Out of video. Genau, und die uh, Landing VRF ist 9.8. Ja, genau, Out of Willisau. Genau, und die SSAD Willisau 2 Alpha hast du wahrscheinlich schon geladen. Nee. Ja, die VRF ist 9.8. Go around 1.08 and um, 170. 1.70. Ascend, ja, yeah, very good. So that's good. On of yeah. and on the seat, you can check here. Here? Yeah. Ja, yeah, check on the seat. Then you can see it is out to Alpha. Okay, good. very good. You can close all this and just leave the waypoints list there. Difficult. Yeah, uh, it's, difficult. On, it's difficult on the right side. I think I changed the frequency. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So good. now it's like this. Two, two, uh, nine, zero, five. How do I get the FMS window away or the flight management yeah. window? Yeah, waypoint list, yeah, okay. exactly. Good, very good. And you see, we have at least there is already a 2D map on, huh? Yep, <coughs> exactly. So, um, next item, I quickly go through the flow of the cockpit preparation. Uh, but you can click it on the on the yoke as well? Yeah, there is a click. Uh, there is this little knob okay. would be the checklist, huh? So the light test okay. is set. Yes, that's good. And the CVR test is done. Good. And then 
the auction test is you have to push that button first oh, okay. cool, yeah. and then quickly do, do this additionally. And then you should see the blinker and you should hear the microphone. Which button? Which button? This red one. Yeah. Press this one with one dot, with one um, finger okay. and, with the, and then press the other one. Yeah, that's good. So it okay. works and you hear it in your head. So you don't have to change the mic anymore? Once no, you use a mask? it's automatic. Okay. As okay. soon as you pull out the, the mask, the mask it it's, it's, it's on it the mask. absolutely mark. sense, yeah. Okay, now, gear down, three greens, um, oxygen we have, blank, now. Okay. So I can do the checklist and you can do, huh? Okay. So battery one is on, huh? CVR, FDR test we have done, cockpit test we have done, ECBs, right? Which are too fast. Uh, undo, I have to go to undo. We have to check the ECBs, huh? I have to go in here. And and the lock. When ready, the section delta below one and two. Okay, that's it. ECB at this uh, not required FMS data we have done. You can click. Battery two is on and two three point two and part brake is on. Set checked. Yep. Go ahead and next. Engine auto all green. Good. Pre-flight inspection outside is complete. Fuel we have 3555, like commanded. Uh, low G takeoff data inserted. Yes, we have done that. Come nav is good for the moment. We just wait a second. We do here uh, 33480 for MN. And this one is 21905, Yeah, that's all good. So, okay, uh, come now, is checked, that's fine. Oxygen mask we checked before. Pax briefing not required. Cabin signs go on now. Uh, continue. Startup clearance is received. And you can clock list, uh, next, stop. Engine start, good. And beacon, beacon is on. Beacon is on. So levers to idle. Yep. Batteries, 23.1, 26. Can we start the right? Uh, all clear to the right. Yeah, so you go up on the overhead panel. Yep. You go to run with the right engine. Press the starter. And obviously it's really have headache. Starter, idle. Train two. position. Still on the taxi position. Much more quiet Start than the PC12. Right? Yeah, it is quiet because it's much back there. Back, yeah. And um, we have above 25 N1, we checked uh, fuel flow, engine oil pressure is all there. We have 562. Well, it's running instructions. Go ahead, one, seven, two. Pilatus uh, 172, after departure, proceed VFR BMC to Widisau, climb maximum, flight level 100, stroke 1445. VFR to Widisau, flight level 100, 1445 to squawk, Pilatus 172. Pilatus 172, repack correct, and routing via simulated Widisau 12, is approved. 172. Okay. 1442, 100. Checked, very good. Then right attention start is complete. GPU we don't have, now you can select flaps 8, just pull up slightly, yeah, very good. And continue, and the trim set. is, wait a second, the trim is 2.1. So as soon as we have flaps 8, we can set the trim. Okay, and then flight controls, left, three panels up, and you can check also your wing then. Right. Right, you should see three panels up. I see two, but okay. No, uh, two multifunction spoilers plus okay. the aileron, huh? Okay. And then that should go go back in, check that everything is clean. Everything is clean, yeah. Good, okay, very good. So avionics we have set for the moment. Those chocks close removed. Checked. Left hand engine start. Yep, ECS uh, is all good, yeah. Uh, wait a second, I'm going to run on here, otherwise you can you can go to run. Uh, wait, 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 we're not there yet. We have ah you wait a second, where are we? ECS, click on. CAS is checked, yes. 
all pierce signal is received. Ah, so we, you, you were too quick, so you went, you went over the right and engine start, then the left and engine start. Here we are. Good. Okay. Okay, go. Yeah. To run and to start. And light up. Start ignition, light up is checked, and two, and one is checked, and two fuel flow engine all pressure, it's all there. Ignition off above 25, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8, 9 was the peak. Completed. Now ECS is set, CAS is clean, CAS clear signal is fine, and yeah, go ahead. Next is brakes, huh? And we can taxi, huh? Taxi lights? Yeah, taxi light and pulse light you can turn on. All the pulse lights, yeah, very good. Just in the middle position, need to be airborne within seven minutes. Yeah, we're ready for taxi now. Like we do in the PC12, first come left, come left, come left. That's about the center line, huh? So take your marks there and good. Yeah, now full pedal, yeah, a little bit of power, a little bit of thrust exactly, and get it around the corner and ready for the <laughs> okay, all that, over that's the good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that works. Very good. So the brakes are checked, flight instruments I do for you, just taxi straight on, huh? Yeah. Can, like you you used bit, to. can you do it a bit colder? Uh, colder. Absolutely. Uh, so the headings are 098, 099, 099. Where is speed zero? Yeah, he said uh, slowly, please, please, 10 knots maximum. Three greens here, 10 knots here. Okay, so 1445 is in, it is off. I go 100, and we have no flags on this is EFD. Yeah, 10 knots, that's good, and then it will work, and it becomes green. They're holding, good, continue, 10 knots, left, right is clear, it is going back. Good, so we have a pitch about minus one, minus one, minus one. Let's check the take of briefing. So we have a long runway, two kilometers. We are actually uh, stop minded if anything major happens. Roger. After Zero. 60 knots, um, we could always stop up to we, we rotate. After we, rot we rotate, we go airborne. We make sure in case of engine failure that we have 8 yard thrust and um, positive rate gear up, and then we fly the visual pattern to the right. On 72. On runway. Okie dokie. Then cabin. Are you ready guys? Peter, go ahead. Okay, cabin is ready. Line up. So the cars is clean. The lights are set for the moment. The weather radar uh, will turn on and 10 up and 5 to see the weather. So it will, it's still a bit well, slightly raining there, low clouds. So we'll have a, a nice uh, high for okay. Guys, now that we are taxiing for takeoff, I would like to introduce to you the gentleman 
Peter and Georg. They are joining us today from the side of uh, the manufacturer. During the flight they will also take the opportunity to explain a little bit about the PC24 and they will also introduce themselves. For now enjoy the takeoff together with us. Be careful, not, not curve to the right. Normally there would be space over there, you see? A little bit right, yeah. Good. We have to take four from the uh, two four. Okay, before oh, wait, oh. wait a second, yeah. We have to select go around, please. And then we have to go around, we go to nav and the arm auto throttle. Eh? Our heading is checked. No flags, you can go halfway like you're used to, and then I release the brakes. Yeah, uh, we do a static or no, no, you can do a rolling, just go to about halfway until it takes over now and let it go. Check, yeah. No takeoff, yeah, it's good. You were a bit too long on the MCT, yeah, that was the problem. What the yes, with the increasing, yeah, 60. Brakes. Yep. Gear up. Yep. Gear up. on. Yep. Wait now. Wait now for 400 feet, please. Blind flight director. Just stabilize the aircraft nicely. Into the flight director. Wait. Flaps up. Right? Okay. Now speed is checked. Now you can put the flaps up. Yep. You want to put the flaps up? And if you want, you can um, engage on the pilot. Yep. Hand fly if okay with you. Yeah, you can also hand fly. Initially, and we do flight level change. Huh? Yeah. So we're on so 70. We go back to MCP, yeah. And it goes back to MCP, yeah. And, and that stand. trip here, huh? And the trip there. I yeah. need to push something out, or just the trip? No, just both together, yeah. That's the comp. We are together, Peter Weber from Pilatus Aircraft and myself. I'm uh, Georg Müller-Breuer from Air Alliance. We are a representative for Pilatus in Germany and Austria and uh, proud to sell these beautiful products in these areas. And uh, I'm glad to be here this morning to join this flight with uh, Dr. Buggio and um, see how we can handle the aircraft on short airfields. It's, uh, preferred things for this aircraft. We could go anywhere and uh, the beautiful thing is we can go in and out without any problems. What do you think Peter? Yeah, 
Yeah, as uh, Georg said, I work at the Pilatus Aircraft Manufacturing Base, so we have the opportunity to go with uh, clients with our sales centers um, on these demo flights and also various uh, demo flights with other customers. And uh, today we'll see first an IFR approach into an airfield, probably a short field landing, and then go into the mountains to start. And it'll be a very, very pretty sight there here in Switzerland. And you're a pilot yourself? Yeah. I uh, come from a pilot background, so I was uh, in Florida for eight years flying uh, as a flight instructor and uh, small corporate business aircraft, uh, a little bit smaller than this one, and uh, then came back home uh, to Switzerland and started at Pilatus about three years ago. And, and you're a pilot as well? Yeah, so sure. <laughs> Even instructor since years, okay. a long period of time and a couple of thousand hours, so that's, that's the base. It's a basic uh, thing for all these uh, affinities to this aviation and uh, you have to live it. If you live it, you like it. So in this case, it's not only a job, it's a, prof it's a profession. May I ask, which types have you been flying in your career? Uh, a lot of uh, turboprops and, and smaller business aircraft. Okay, my position is not to fly the aircraft professional, to go uh, from destination from A to B. My profession is to sell aircrafts and uh, to uh, examine people and uh, yeah, let's instruct people. So that's that's my profession in aviation. So we have information Delta, runway 24 news, get 1,000 feet, 16,010. And next we get uh, with, as soon as we are out of the TNA, we are just here, 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 and lights. Do you say taxi the landing lights on? Or uh, you can just take the uh, landing light to pulse, that's fine, that's good. Cabin sign set. And we do next item descent. We have received the 80s. The CPCS is good. Uh, ice is not required right now. Fuel, we have 3320. Gas is clean and briefing. Another front 72 request to change to bad approach. 172, bird arrival, 172325, channel. 172325, chase, Pilatus 172. Plan approach, got the talk, Pilatus 172, level 100, inbound, Willis, out to join, and for an approach landing in Grand. Pilatus 172, bird arrival, identified, uh, descent to 7000 feet, QNH 1010, and for the moment, remain VFR. Roger 1010, descending 7000, remain VFR, Pilatus 172. Okay. And Pilatus 172, start to reduce the speed. So, uh, you are both engaged in selling the PC24. Maybe, Peter, if I may ask you, what are the main sales arguments uh, why, with which you convince customers to buy a new PC24? Well, uh, PC24 has so many great features that are appealing to a lot of different uh, customers, but uh, mainly it has the same advantages as you get in a smaller business jet uh, or a PC-12 for example with short takeoff and landing characteristics on uh, unpaved uh, fields as well. The large cargo door area which I'm sure we'll show you uh, at our stops as well. The very large roomy cabin uh, with the completely flat floor for a versatile interior where you can at the moment we have six plus two seats in there for eight passengers. We can remove the back two seats, have cabinets in there for a little bit more space and more comfort with, uh, with cabinets. And then it's just a, a great airplane that you can fly single pilot. It's easy for the pilot and very comfortable for the passengers. Okay. Um, and uh, already when fitting the cameras yesterday, I saw that the aircraft has a fully, uh, fully equipped toilet but uh, our viewers didn't see them yet in the rear we have the cargo uh, um, area and in the front we have the flight deck so where do I have to go uh, to do my business to the front where a where's a beautiful toilet it's um, not only a standard toilet it's a welcome toilet that means we don't smell anything it's it's flush so that means we'll be clean from outside it's a perfect thing it's an aircraft it's a toilet or a washroom 
like you have it in bigger aircrafts, uh, Gulfstream or Falcon, etc. So, which is not usual for a light jet, which we are. Have you, have you personally already sold PC-24s? I, I guess selling an aircraft is not easy. Yes, yes, fortunately yes. So, and uh, to be honest, with the characteristics uh, Peter already mentioned, we have a really big chance to sell aircrafts in niche. Yeah, we have a light aircraft, a light jet, so, but uh, we have the DNA of uh, a mid-sized aircraft with the big cabin, with the big windows, the beautiful seats, and you see it's roomy, it's spacey, yeah. Yeah, you are not hanging in the seat and it's tiny. Yeah, so we have a lot of opportunities and even the big advantage with uh, the short wheel landings, the ground performance we have, gives us the opportunity to go in fields, which normally you cannot fly in with a jet. Yeah one time but not a second time yeah. so, um, what is the maximum flight time for this aircraft maximum endurance uh, about close to five hours uh, maximum endurance I would say uh, the range it's typically a 2,000 mile aircraft with four passengers and uh, so depending on what speed you fly um, high-speed cruise or long-range cruise uh, but usually about five hours so that gets you non-stop from Europe uh, Central Europe to Reykjavik for example uh, Reykjavik is no problem uh, Moscow no problem so you can dial it a 150 uh, uh, Bravo Kilomaiko, and you can extend the air brakes uh, yep just push towards me uh, for to uh, full towards me and down yeah that's good I feel you can check on the wing. Yep. And so we get a little bit of rate of descent like this while we're reducing. Yeah? Climbing 7,000 feet on the Oh, okie dokie. So we go to split. The minimums we have to set. Yep. The minimum you can set at... Uh, 1920. 1920, yep. Yeah. And not the profile. And we climb out of... Yeah. Exactly, wait a second. So we come at Willis now, 36 and inbound 255. You yeah. can see here 254, 255. Mark 6000 to the R1 and then we go down. Check, yeah. Good. So we check over at R1, we start descent on the 255. And it's, and a, it's a glide of what? Of it's, plus it's actually, down. wait a second, 3.34, huh? so it's more or less standard. Huh? And we stay clean. A little bit, uh, with the minimum is checked on the header. Uh, we just need Greenwich Tower, which is um, 120.105. And it's pre selected, that's all what we need. Uh, the minimum we talked about, and on the missed approach, climb, you should climb clear 6000, climb straight ahead to Greenwich. Turn left to Tulu Golf 504, proceed by Tulu Golf 505 to Willis Alvio. That's a big left turn, right? And that's Tulu Golf, Grandchen, and left turn to Willis Alvio 60. Yeah, that's good, that's copied. So the PC24's uh, seats have an almost completely lay flat function. So you can recline the seat um, almost fully back, adjust the leg rest to come up, and you have basically a uh, very comfortable sleeping position that you can uh, relax, enjoy the flight and uh, recharge your battery for the next day. Now they start playing up front, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, gambling a little bit. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're starting to approach uh, from Willisau towards Grenchen. Yeah, I think so. Uh, How many PC-24s have been uh, roughly produced until now and uh, how is the sales situation for the future to come? Uh, delivered just over 80 piece 24s and uh, are planning to do roughly 50 aircraft next year of the PC24 and the uh, sale outlook for us is very positive at the moment I would say the market has responded well to the PC24 and now we're starting to get into a, uh, a more mature phase of the program where we are at uh, full production I would say production capacity with 50 per year very fortunate that we live in a very beautiful place in Europe so lots of customers enjoy and want to come see the production facility uh, see the area here and it's also a very great place to do a demo plan. Yeah, 
for sure. And have there been one or two favorite places you've been visiting during the course of a demonstration flight that you recall particularly? Uh, I very much like flying around in Switzerland, going around the Alps. Our pilots know the area very, very well, so we can do some very, very nice flights, especially in winter. Um, and else, I uh, always enjoy going to somewhere warm for a change, uh, maybe southern Europe or so. So that's all good. You can get the air brake back in. And we can complete the checks. The vertical weather I've seen you have too here. Huh? Yeah, vertical weather is the same as you have. Yeah, exactly. And then the approach deck. We have altimeters on zero, one zero. Oh, seven. Seven. 1300 as a whole, it's probably on the outer map. Let me quickly check here. Not this one there. Yeah, that's on chart. Yeah, Just go on chart. Uh, full stop in Grand Canyon. Found 255 with left turns, huh? 255 with left turn, okay. 255 is in there and it's left. So you will have to go quickly up there, sorry. Hold on. So we quickly take you the six thousand ground. Yeah, we take the hold ground. Yeah. Okay, go there and delete the hold. Delete. Yeah. Activate. Very good. Good. So we go straight in. Yeah. And uh, six thousand out of. Yeah. Avan. Okay, so at Avan we should start. The BGP and the LPV yeah. is shown and the ghost pointer is already coming out. Very good. And it's an offset approach, yeah? But it's, it's offset, yeah. And only DME 1.2, we can start lining up because of uh, noise abatement. Yeah, we, you will see uh, there's a village on the right. Yeah, we have yeah. to pass that village yeah. first and then, then we, we can go DME one, right. DME 1.2 actually. Yeah, exactly. Okay, LPV becomes active and Check. comes in. Yeah, you can do flaps 8, please. Very good. And that we are established, huh? And select. Yeah, select what? FM speeds now. And once you're captured, you can select flaps 15. But wait, wait yeah. until. Okay, okay now it's captured. Yeah. Tell them that we're fully uh, uh, yeah. established. Pilot of Front 72 established on the RP24. Pilot of Front 72, radar service terminator, contact angle power 980 speed. But that's the DSP, right? That's the DSP. Okay. At the moment, we are because we clap flaps 15. Okay. And we land flaps 33, you said, Yes, right? exactly. Uh, and we're still eight miles out, so plenty yeah. of time yeah, to do it. And we check five, ten miles, and that's good. Let's check it. 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 Let's check it
and turn south to south, tell it is left with only device protection. Connect for target, Tirano 172 is established on the RP24. Tirano 172, can an internal confirm for a full stop? Hey, sir, for a full stop, and then about 10 minutes uh, on the apron, then uh, VFR to Sauna. Tirano 172, Roger, report 5 miles. Report 5 miles on 72. 9 miles distance was checked with Check, 180. Yeah. 8 is coming up with 450. Yeah, it's not needed. Huh? No, we have 10. Uh, it's 12 degrees. Uh, if it's 10 or below, we're going to uh, uh, activate the ice. Like this, not required. Point like this. 8 is 450, it's checked. Yep, 50 feet below. You fly it very nicely. Well done. Papa Fox, runway 24. Runway 24, not the Papa Fox. 7 is 4. So as soon as the adults kick in, we're gonna go gear down, full flaps. 2500 then, right? Yeah. Check, yeah, so I think we're ready for the gear, huh? Medium check, yeah, very good. Wait, now. wait with the flaps until we have yeah. Yeah. three greens. Three greens, good. Flaps, 33. Flaps full. Why does it show ignition? That's because gear down automatically. Check brakes. Yeah, now you reduce to 106. Lift the auto throttle on to do yeah. this. Yeah, also all good. Turn 15. is close. Continue for concrete traffic. PC 24, 5 miles. Follow behind me. Behind for for report traffic inside is now coming soon. Echo one. Good. Got the fly. Roger. Pilot 172, wind calm, runway 24, clear to land. Pilot 124, pilot 172. DB 1.2, we can line up. Yep. I'm low cloud base today, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's just over here. Minimum is 1920, so about 800 to go. Yeah, I take it manual. Okay, we go 
forward, yeah, until we go to the right. Huh? Very good. So when braking, you can actually use the brakes full on because you have the anti skid right? right. Yes, you could. Right. Oh, now, it's about a 30 pound stop. Very impressive play. Very, very impressive. What a short breaking. First, we have to do this, go quickly, a little bit forward, then the lift up is going, and we can quickly hold here once we are past, past the line. on the trims, gear, flaps are retracted, nothing more is required. And the probes, everything's off, is that automatic? It's, that's automatic, yeah. So you just follow the line nicely, yeah. Uh, 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 Box for three, clear, proceed via Echo 1 and report. Kids have fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we have to go beside the Phenom there, huh? Yep. Nice play too. Yes, yeah. Let we go to the other side of the Phenom, I believe. Huh? Yes, exactly. So... You can probably go at this blue line, should be at the end uh, the of the grass, huh? Yes, between the grass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is a taxiway, a special taxiway yeah. behind yeah. it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So you can go and pass it. Very good. Plus 20. You have more view then in the PC-12, huh? The cockpit is a bit lower, I believe, the panel. Maybe, maybe, it's, it's very similar. Yeah. Um, these ones are definitely higher, you see more okay. on the side of okay. the 12, yeah. A little bit more braking, yeah. Now it goes into caster and you need to counteract, yeah, exactly. This needs a little bit of practice yeah. and then... Yeah, I think you can take this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We just go a little bit right on the line, okay. so we don't damage. Should be fine. Yeah. Okay. You check the left wing. Yeah, that's fine. Go straight. It's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Taxi to Halifax One. Taxi to Halifax One. Number three due to the wind of the PC thirty four. That's it? Yeah, okay, good, that's good. Oh the parking brake, park brake, okay, yeah, statements and you. lights are good right now, huh? That's good. And so, we prepare. We can actually, you can just turn left and, you know. Count your Mykoska, DMV5. Very good. Count my Mykoska, number two. Yeah, the right one goes on. The right one goes into Kostiam later, huh? We have to wait a little bit, huh? Okay, so, we can... You can go on to the um, flight management window and plan for the next flight. Huh? This one here for the flight plan. Huh? Uh, Lima, Sierra, to the Golf, to Lima, Sierra, Golf, Kilo. And you see the QPM is now available. If you okay. quickly go, you see we're at 53.4. Okay. Now you could go to, um, just press the QPM bezel, and then you can see the engine spools down. Ah, I see. Huh? Now it's quiet. That's cool. And we do this planning and then we, we go again once we have, uh, we're ready. Yeah, you can open if you want, yeah. For five minutes. Uh, the 
cruising altitude, yeah. they could set 6,000 because you have already set the pre-selector, so you could have to say, do the same as the pre-selector. Yeah, exactly. Enter, 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 that's all good, yeah, so we are 50,800 pounds, huh? So we quickly go for flight number two, huh? Yep. Direct the tail, 172 we are in with... We're leaving here, people. runway 24, correct? Yes, Lima Sierra uh, Zulu Go. Do we have any transition or...? No, we just straight out VFR, huh? Okay. To LSK car. And landing most likely. So and fuel, we have 10,000. And we have a trip fuel of about 500. We are here after our first landing in uh, Greinigen Airport. And uh, just quickly taking a five minute break. And uh, running the aircraft now in the quiet power mode, which is a sub idle function of the engine and uh, runs a generator at 250 amps, which is sufficient for standard battery uh, operation and uh, keeps the cabin cool while we have a quick, uh, quick turnaround. Good. So, uh, just getting the aircraft ready. So on the left side of the aircraft, you really hear that it's very quiet while the engine is still running. It allows the passengers to board, load the baggage, and then as soon as they are in, we start both engines. Uh, using the quiet power mode and are ready to go. And then the landing, I call it calm, it call it 17 degrees and I call it 1011. Flap 33 unfactored. So we can do both runways, huh? With okay. wind calm. But I obviously accept runway 26, huh? Yep. Ex expect runway 26 and the speeds for runway 26, uh, if you go to approach, yes, that's uh, VRF 97. Go around 107. And we don't change anything, huh? That was a good stable approach, just flying to the touchdown so we can flare a slightly little bit more, huh? Okay. But it was very stable, very good. I like that, huh? Good, I'm happy. So we just go straight out and then over the lake and then a big left turn. Yes, exactly. To Fribourg. So 2-6, when we get there after Fribourg, we go around the airport, south the airport, is it? And then we land at 2-6? Yeah, we go south of the airport, exactly. Okay. We, we come from north. We go and fly down to 5,000 feet and mm -hmm. then fly along the valley. Okay. Um, and, and you will see the... Uh, I will see the airport at uh, my yes, left. I'll guide okay. you around. Okay. Around Gstaad, huh? And where do we start the descent here, or along the? Uh, more, more, more or less in okay. the base here. Okay. Overhead Gstaad, huh? Okay. Fr from 5,000 feet, because remember it's 3,300 feet. Okay. So it's 1,700 feet to the to okay. descent, huh? Good. And what runway length we have? 800 meters, is it, or something? 4,600 feet. We can look it up here. So nearly 1,500 meters. Huh? Can we look it up somewhere here? Roughly. Yeah, you could look it up there. Yeah. Length 459. 459. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We just met a pilot of uh, the Embraer was uh, standing uh, alongside us and uh, had a small view in, in, in this aircraft. And if you compare the cabin of our aircraft, it's a different world. It's, this is the same class of aircraft, same class of jets. We are both light jets, but uh, we have the opportunity to offer a, a roomy cabin with a flat floor. And this is really the DNA of, uh, of a mid-sized jet because normally flat floors are starting with uh, yeah, bigger aircraft in, in the mid-sized jet area like uh, latitude, longitude or even uh, challengers. And this is uh, not common for this class of, of aircraft. So and if you compare this, uh, the height of this cabin, yeah, we are 1 meter and 58 and uh, 
in the AMREF NM300, which I just saw, it is one meter and 50 in the air, and that's a big difference. So that's um, one of yeah, our advantages, maybe. So you know what, I think the acceleration of the jet, I would make a bet with you, is better than the PC-12. It's just the rotation speed is higher. But I, th I, feel, yeah, yeah. The, I feel the acceleration, the acceleration is, is also good. Uh, the acceleration also good. is quicker, but it's just a higher takeoff speed, so you need a longer distance to accelerate to the higher, to the Pro higher speed. Probably, probably. And if you're ready, yep. you can go uh, to checklist. Just press checklist here. Now we uh, go to checklist back there. And we clear all. Yep. And you say, yep, to reset all. Reset all. Yeah, go to normal. And then go to engine start and click through until you are at the left engine start. Beacons are on. Yep. Just have our batteries. You can set flaps 8. We have to get out of QPM first. Because it takes more power to set the flaps, right? Yeah, it needs to get all the uh, okay. the system in back into normal operation. Now it has that, and now you can go and flaps uh, 15, actually, we have said. We're going to do flaps 15, please. Yep. Trims and set, three times green. Yep. Flight controls once a yep. flight. Yep. Avionics and set. So, and uh, the, the main advantage of the um, APU-like um, engine mode that you've just explained is, for example, that you can have air conditioning running on ground. Yeah, you don't have to look for a, a ground power unit. You can start the aircraft and you don't need a ground power unit, yeah, which makes you independent. That's a really big, really big advantage because you don't like to wait for for outside power. Yeah, you start your outside engine, bring it in low power mode, and then you can use anything. You can you can start independent. You don't need any GPU assistance. Yeah, you can start with your avionic racks, and then and, and, and even you can heat up or you can cool down the aircraft. That's yep. that's a positive yep. thing. And the big advantage compared to having an actual separate APU is, of course, that you don't have the third engine to maintain yeah. and uh, reduces the cost and the weight of the aircraft significantly yeah. because of that. Yeah. The cost of running the engine is there, but it's about 60% of the fuel flow of idle, so it's very low. And uh, uh, third engine maintenance and weight is going to uh, be a much bigger ticket. Okay. And the really good thing is, uh, is that uh, there's not a cycle, it's, uh, there's no yeah running time what you have to lock yeah it's it's nothing oh it's not yeah, no. so it doesn't so count towards your overhaul time it doesn't count towards your cycle ah. yeah. uh, climb altitude we have what do you what do you want to climb we 5, go 000? to 8500 feet okay doors and closed yep left hand engine start yes go ahead left side clear right side clear So we have start uh, our 680. Caption off, start off. Completed, yeah, good. System synoptic is, is done. Okay, check. Cars is. RAS not available because it's a Viva. So now let's see if we are still lucky with the weather for our Skinic uh, VFR approach. Yeah, we but shall see. It's, uh, to go to start is funny. Uh, yeah? If, yeah, if you fly in. You know, luckily we have it's a really, very... It's really VFR. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Luckily we have a very experienced pilot. And Pilatus 172 is also ready for taxi VFR to Zone. Pilatus 172, tower Q9, current wind. 05, 3 knots, you prefer runway 24 or 06? Uh, we can take uh, 24, Pilatus 172. Pilatus 172, taxi holding point Delta, runway 24. Delta 24, Pilatus 172. 050 five, zero with 3. Taxi is on. Okay, off you go. Yeah, off you go. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. yeah. Okay.
good. I quickly do it nicely, slowly. Taxi, please, okay. this time, because it's narrow, yep. and I need to quickly here uh, put the new winds in there. Okay. Yeah? Also, you're not pressured this time because you don't have the slot. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No this hurry. Time we have time. What are you calculating now? The new wind, zero five okay. zero, with three, huh? Okay, though, flight instruments, uh, you do the taxi, I do the yeah. checklist. Huh? Flight instruments are checked one, two, three, four, five times, no flags. Checked, system summary window, we have flaps 15 as discussed, and the trims 2.0 for flaps 15. Set, and the batteries are charged, fuel is 3000 as discussed, and cabin is fine, huh? IPS is as required, ATC clearance uh, not required, we climb straight out by a whiskey towards the BLSA and then we ask for a cross the clearance direction Freiburg. Huh? Okay. Take off briefing, short runway, huh? we are stop. We are uh, goal minded uh, because there are not much uh, obstacles back and there. We do a static takeoff? Or? Uh, we do a static takeoff, okay. exactly. And in case of uh, engine failure, we can do a left. 172, are you ready? AFM 172, ready for departure 24. Shadows 172, back to Akronai 24, report up on route. We'd like to uh, fly straight out um, route Whiskey, uh, direction BLSA, uh, climbing to 8500 feet, below the 172. Shadows 172, then leads hit your route Whiskey, the wind 030 degrees, 3 knots, Akronai 24, keep for takeoff. Roger cleared for takeoff, runway 24, route whiskey, below 172. You keep the pulse lights always on half? One yeah, on one on, on, on pulse and one on the on the landing because okay. I have the takeoff clearance. Ah, okay. That's my remark ah, that okay. we have takeoff clearance. I go to landing position. So you still have one set of lights in pulse okay. for, for the birds. And why don't so you go full? Ah, one yeah, like this and one on half, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, go full pedal and now into caster, huh? Let it turn around, yeah, and 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 you have to uh. add power. Yeah, full caster. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Otherwise we end up in the grass. Very good. And uh, now uh, yeah, yeah, we have to anticipate that must be a little bit earlier. Uh. So a little bit right full right foot, a little bit right braking, a little bit thrust. A little bit thrust, yeah. Okay, very good. So you have it under control now. Go back with the pedals to center, and you can select takeoff. Okay. That is set. Auto throttle now. That. Yep. FMS speeds. Or you want manual? Uh, FMS? Manual. Manual 170. Manual. Okay. Uh, so we got the auto throttle. We got the go around. Yeah, and keep it on the brakes until we see takeoff yeah. thrust. But we're in the roll mode, so. Is yeah, that okay? okay. Yeah, no. uh, you can also get heading mode on, that's fine, that's good. Heading, okay. go around. Go around, heading, go around, and, and the flaps. Is on. Flaps 15 is fine? Yep. Okay, F because of the second so segment. So go this time a little bit less than MCT, maybe this position. Okay, so it takes over you by Yeah, and, and, and hold the brakes, yeah. Ready? Okay. Yep. Taking over. Yeah. Power, take take off power set, set. And release. Alive. Airspeed alive. 50, 60, checked. Check. Those are great brakes. Get up. Yeah. Check. And just wait now, fly the flight director. This the second segment is very important. Where do you want the flaps? Above 400 feet. But stabilize nicely. Yeah, okay, now the flight is good. Flaps and you can check, you can select flight level change and then the thrust comes back. 170, that's good. And I'll give you a track here, a little bit to the left. The flight track cut. It's working 7,000, not so good. Frequency change approved, 
turn to prove the other pilots want to do. Okay, and now you have to turn to the right here, please. Follow the flight director, yeah, I gave you the track. You just fly track and I change to... Quartal Grütz, Pilatus Ort 72, a PC24 over Whiskey 1, climbing to 8,500 feet for crossing direction, Sane. Pilatus uh, 172, confirm, come. Hey, firm. Pilatus 172, open tower, hello, Kinech 1010, crossing direction, Sane approved, and uh, squawk ident. Watch 1010, squawking ident, direction, crossing direction, Sane approved, Pilatus 172. Can I give you a direct sauna? Yes. Okay, in this case uh, I correct that. Yeah, top the victory is going to be the altitude for crossing. Okay, I can see, then please contact uh, burn arrival 127325 for crossing. Watch your 127325, merci. You want to go into the NAF mode or? Uh, you can go NAF mode, yeah. All I'm doing is following the flight director. Yes, very good. Area. Cool. Yeah, very good. We have a crossing clearance. We're crossing what? The, uh, the TMA of Bern, yeah. Burn. And I have to go in it and uh, not the right end. And pop the Charlie Hotel 172, enter. Bei der Radl Grüezi Pilatus 172 ist uh, 8500 turning towards the zone. Pilatus 172 from Bern Arrival, hello. Um, crossing is approved, QNH 1010. Watch crossing approved, 1010 at 8500 feet, Pilatus 172. How can you move this one to the side? Uh, yes, you can. There is a, uh, a screw here. Oh you yes, have to release okay. that and then you can put it there where you want it. And you can also use the autopilot quickly if you want. That's fine. Check. Yeah, now you have to tighten the screw a little bit once you're more or less in the position. Right. Then you should be fine, huh? Actually, we should be on a standard, excuse me. 1010. That's better. Yep. So you feel a little bit maneuvering already, huh? That's nice. Very nice. Doesn't frighten me at all. Yep. What fuel flow do we have now? Uh, we have uh, Pretty much 400 the same pounds. As on the ground, huh? Yeah, but one engine, yeah, uh, totally, yeah. you see. Yeah, we can only check once we're stable here. Yeah. We are, we have to wait a little bit. So what's the normal fuel flow at flight level 400? About it's uh, at 450 uh, and 430 you get around an average of 1,000 pounds. Okay. Much, so uh, much three, three, times, three times the PC-12. Yeah, one of this uh, really impressive things for landing is uh, our landing gear. Uh, not only for rough field landings, you have this uh, twin wheel uh, landing gear, so with low pressure tires, which gives you the opportunity to have really big force on the ground. That means after the aircraft touches down, you can immediately go in brakes yeah, and you have the full force on the flat, uh, big flat position so that you can stop the aircraft, which is for smaller airfields very, very impressive. Please keep always in mind we don't have any reverse. Yeah, we're not mid-size, we are small. So that's one of this point. And um, on the other side, um, yeah, each landing is a soft landing. Yeah. It's very impressive. Yeah. And of course the PC24 is famous for uh, grass field landing, even sand or gravel landings. Um, how, how frequently is that really used in the end by the operators? Do you have any experience with that? I guess we have in Europe not all these opportunities 
to use this uh, capabilities. But in, if you go a little bit more eastbound, that means Poland, where there's, uh, all the airfields are, you know, in the, in the, during the Warsaw Pact, you had different airfields, grass with high density. You can go there, and I guess a couple of customers will use that because there's a lot of industry in, in Poland where people are going on grass with the PC-12. Why not with a PC-24? Okay. Let's see. And for us, from a global perspective, the PC-24 is already, you know, flying all over the world. There are many parts of the world, like Australia, where there are a lot of gravel uh, runways. And since the PC-24, with its large cabin and cargo door, uh, can also be used for air medical flights, um, this has become very popular and those flights, of course, go anywhere they need to. Yeah. And so this capability gives you the option to go closer to where the patients are that you need to pick up and uh, go anywhere you need to. We also have one aircraft operating in uh, Alaska oh. for uh, uh, medical flights. They are based in Burrow, Alaska, which is basically the most northern point uh, you can go in the United States and uh, they do basically medical flights for the uh, northern region of Alaska up there. So very extreme conditions, very cold, very dark in winter and uh, also lots of unpaved strips there. Yeah, actually this window is fine. I give you a little bit more speed, huh? Okay. I give you 210. Ooh, you can feel the thrust even oh yeah, yeah. the accelerator. <laughs> it's nice. It gives you a nice push, huh? Yep, it does. Are these the same Williams engines as on the CJ2 Plus? Do you know by any chance? Yeah, no, they're they're bigger. <laughs> the bigger. The yeah, same ones as on the CJ4, okay. but with the QPM and a different FedEx. That's one of the nicest and most friendliest airports, huh? It's Sane. You come there very often. They give you, they give you a free car. Okay. You don't need to fill anything out. Last time they gave me an electric car. I didn't do, need to do anything with it. Okay. No pain, no nothing. They got a very nice hangar, but I believe they're quite expensive to land there. Yeah, it's it's expensive. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So you just fly the thing, roll data. You look outside, look at the mountains. Where do you want to go? Where do we need to go? Just uh, go a little bit uh, more to the right, uh, slightly maybe. Where, where's, the airport? See where's the airport? You see this valley? Which valley? Straight ahead, there is a lower yeah, okay, valley. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. So we could actually go around that uh, mountains to the to the right of it, yeah, okay. and then come in from the other side. Huh? So that's what we do. Yep. We go over there in this big valley over exactly, there. Exactly. Yep. And we stay at eight five or? Yeah, you could stay at eight five right now. Or can we go 100 feet above ground? Oh. <laughs> you want to put the squelch off or? Ah, uh, yeah, I could put the squelch off now. Excuse me. Let's slow down a little bit so we can enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, go down to 180 again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we continue now with uh, the touch screen, which makes it easier for the pilot to handle handle all these uh, ionic items. This it's a very nice solution. So, so you have the CCD and the touch screen. That, that means that both pilots can work together, which is uh, like a group. If you have a second pilot in, you can control the complete cabin light, temperature, and uh, all the other features you have in this cabin by your iPhone or iPad. It's really. It's, it's like so as I, I already I said. DNA of a mid-sized jet, huh? so that's what you have in bigger aircraft. It's cool. Yeah, it's very. So I connect via this uh, uh, cabin management system to the Wi-Fi, and it gives me the options to control whatever you like in the cabin. Yeah, so you can actually fly now towards these path, these mountains there, huh? yeah. towards that valley. How huh? you cut the cord a little bit shorter. Oh, uh, the path and altitude will be five thousand, but it's keep the altitude because we have to fly over a mountain ridge. Okay. If you want, you can also use this valley, if you yeah. want. Yeah. And then you can check at the orientation and descend in the valley and then turn into the downwind. So right this one here you this mean? This one, this to the left of the mountain. Okay. Yeah. That also works. That also works. That's Charme down here. That's Lac de Gruyère down here.
and we can actually already go to FMS speeds because it already switched to 180. Because on 180 okay. Yeah, that's good. Because it helps to reduce the workload because as soon as you select flaps, yep. it's going it to reduce the speed. Yeah. The auto throttle is a big invention on the PC12. I yes. really like it. Yeah. And I would definitely never buy a plane again without auto throttle. Such a such an ease on the workload. Exactly. And you saw you could concentrate on doing the approach before yeah, yeah. and you uh, the other turtle was doing the speed and everything. Much yeah. nicer. So on the traffic pilot was 172 is at 8,000 feet, about 10 miles um, north of the field for landing. Okay, I will report overhead joining the downwind for runway 26. Um, we say again the QNH, pilot is 172. Uh, pilot 172, stand by for QNH. Pilot 172, the QNH from Bern is 1010. Roger, 1010, pilot is 172. 010. So, yeah, now you can. Uh, speed wave. is checked, you can select with flaps 8. And you can slowly descend towards 5,000 feet if the terrain allows it to you. Okay. Ah. Oh, the throttle is still on. It goes towards 150. So Ex expect extended center line you can't put on here, right? Yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But this is the valley, so okay. we have to turn over here and okay. then fly the circling here. Huh? Okay. So you co you're coming right right into the uh, good place. Just be careful because we have. 21 from the front, so you yep. might experience some rotor waves. Yeah, just don't go lower right now, yeah, just yeah. keep the nose still. Uh, that's fine. That's good, yeah. Uh, just, a, just a pass slightly down, that's good. A few degrees. So you see the orientation over there, where you see that white spot, that's Gstaad. So we fly <coughs> the downwind along that mountain you see there okay, on the right. And then, huh? around, and then Gstaad. around Gstaad okay, with see. a left turn. Huh? I see what you mean. And this mountain in front, we go to the right of it or to the no, left of the right? No, I think you can do. You could before the mountain, you could turn towards the crosswind. Okay, so before that mountain, we turn left. Exactly, okay. yeah, and fly uh, towards five thousand feet. I think I know why you gave this plane this call sign. Because <laughs> okay. it does fly like a Cessna 172. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It flies yeah. really, really easy for exactly. it, I have to say. It uh, so really, really easy. I'm very impressed I by would it. I would uh, um, recommend you now to go flap 15. Eh? Speed is checked. Flaps 15. We're going to land with one flaps 15. No, no, 3 3. We stay to the right. Uh, yeah, the, you on cross the, the valley and then fly the downwind yeah. at 5,000 along on the other side okay. of the valley yeah, at 5,000. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. And the runway is down here. Yeah. And we go around the mountain circle and then come back. Yeah. Yeah. You can inhibit that if you want. Yeah, hopefully. We go over uh, this mountain or? No, no, along. <laughs> along, okay. Descend to 5,000. So Pilatus 172 is uh, overhead the Rouge Mall descending through 5,800 feet, joining the downwind for only 26. Pilatus 172 here is Sonnen, we have runway 26 in use, do require fuel on the ground. Uh, negative, Pilatus 172. Pilatus 172, just for your information, there is November 1, Foxtrot starting up and after for backtrack to take off, thank you. Uh, Roger. So, okie dokie. 
now you're at uh, 135, nicely. We turn right, yep. right behind Keep, keep right. on the right side so of the valley, that's say good. 5,000 or? 5,000, yeah, stay at 5,000. <coughs> Pilatus 172 is overhead, uh, start the circling overhead, start. Okay, I give you the gear or you can lower the gear. Now you can see better to your side. Yes, so you yep. So keep on, keep on straight, going that yep. way. That's good, and you can start smooth descent. How many degrees? Three degrees? Yeah, uh, two Austin. degrees maybe along something like this. Yeah, and I give you flaps full. Go to the other edge of that yeah. uh, that mountain there. Huh? You okay. see the yeah, forest. Yeah. So yeah. turn around now. Lift, pass up. Yeah, that's good. Turn, turn, turn. Quite a steep bank, right? Yeah, 30 degrees bank should be fine. Use three degrees uh, flight pass. The uh, airport is at three three. Okay, all the throttle in this case. Yeah, exactly. All good. Yeah, fly a little bit base. A little bit, but that was 45 degrees back. 30 would be good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but 45 is more fun. Yeah, you agree? No, yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and now we could, we could nicely fly the mountain there. Yeah, and just continue descent. Yeah, along the terrain. That's a bit like La Molde 06. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 it is. And we're gonna hit the. And Pilatus 172 left and base 26 foot. You're gonna hit the top of the church tower, right? Yep. You see now the runway? Yeah, I see the oh runway. We have to go so. down. All the automation off. Three greens, flap 33. Final check off. is completed. Yeah, all the throttle is off. Nose down. Power idle. Air brake out. Yeah, good. Speed, speed, power, speed, power. Speed, 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 speed. Yeah, power, 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 power. Good. Good. Continue like this. Good, good. Aiming point down. Into the wrong way. Speed. Very good. Continue. Just nose down. Do you see the threshold? You aim for the threshold. Yeah, all good. All good. Will be air brake. And yeah, let it go. Idle. Three greens. Right. And full braking. Yep, full braking. Just break it through. Oh my and god, what a nice plane. And that was the anti skid system, that right? That kicked in. Yeah. So you could uh, yeah, uh, vacate here. Huh? Oh my god, what a nice plane. Okay. Good. So, a little bit of trust, please. Because it goes uphill. Yep. Hotel Bravo, Victor Victor Uniform, welcome to Salmon. Please follow the marshal for parking. Follow the marshal inside for parking, please. Okay. Slow, slow, slow. Give the marshal some time, please. Oh, he's running nicely. Yeah. He's a very <laughs> sportive guy, you know. Please follow the marshal for parking. See, inside. <laughs> Zero, nine, three, eight. What a nice plane. Plus 20 minutes. So okay, park break. That's a very nice approach, huh? That's a very nice yeah. approach. So but it's, it's a lot like 06 in uh, Saint Tropez. Oh yeah, it's like it's a yeah, lot yeah. like this because you follow the slope of the terrain to yes, go in. Yes, exactly. To and go down uh, come nice and the here. runway, the runway looks really, really short yes. for this kind of plane. But after all, it's not. No. After all, it's not it's at not all. It's not at all. And the anti skid system works very well, and it also works well on the wet runway. Uh, it works also well on the wet runway, okay. and uh, and essentially, as you come down so slow, yeah, uh, okay. you don't need to uh, to Plus break with down these massive a lot of air brakes. With these massive air brakes, you get a lot of power on the brakes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's. Uh, nice. that's you guys can well. be very proud of this plane. But I'm very impressed by the handling of the plane. It really does fly. 
as easy as a PC12. It's yeah. not frightening at all. No, it's not. You just have to uh, to be on VRF at uh, at 50 feet and okay. do the idle, and then it works. Okay, and then uh -huh. it sets down nicely. Yeah, exactly. Good. Let's go outside. Get okay, some fresh yeah. air. Yeah. Something that, the, something that the <laughs> Eclipse viewers don't know is that Teddy used to be a fighter pilot for yeah, the Swiss yeah. Army for many years. Okay. He doesn't like that's when people true. talk about it because he's very modest. But <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Now I told you that I like the plane. How did you like my flying? Uh, Uli, um, I was impressed. I mean, you, uh, you felt immediately home. There was the rotation you felt initially in Burgs. You had to find a little bit of pitch mm -hmm. and you got a little bit distracted with changing configuration. Mm -hmm. Also, I felt like you obviously you're not used to, to sit on the right side. That's an additional diffi difficulty. So, but you managed this and then finally you, you found nicely the flight director. Mm -hmm. And we then, um, above 400 feet, we retracted the flaps. And then we, we went to flight level change to get the, the MCT and then it worked fine. You, yeah. you tracked nicely the flight director all the way. And um, I was impressed by uh, the stable approach mm -hmm. because I tuned down at the speed to more or less VRF in, mm -hmm. in the short final. Mm -hmm. It helped to get stable. And then you see important is, as you did, um, go over, get the, get the center line and, and just point the fly pulse at the runway. Mm -hmm. Adjust the speed. And, and we have only feet. to do a little bit of, uh, of speed adjustment so that that approach was perfectly stable. I could not do it better, I tell you. Ooh. So that was really ah. good. I and hope the this landing, is on camera. I could not do it better, I tell you. <laughs> and the landing was nicely in the touchdown zone, a little bit on the positive side, but uh, that's better on a, on a short run like on this. The negative side, yeah. But you see, um, the, um, uh, that was easy. We didn't even do full braking. Uh, that was easy to slow down the aircraft. On but the it even did uh, kick in the anti-skid system, I felt. Yes, it, yeah, but if okay. you feel that dancing, the we call uh, it, uh, uh, then uh, uh, that's the anti-skid, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then here... But the braking did, uh, action with the flaps, with the, with the speed traps, and the, and the twin tires is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. And I the mean, low pressure tires. The lift dumpers, I mean, really, yeah. I thought initially, oh, the, these are too small and they don't help, but they oh, help they were, big time. They help big They're time, They're really yes. big enough. Yeah. And so if you have, uh, if you probably are on the ground with around 90 knots, you know, 95, 90 knots ish, yeah. uh, you have a good uh, pressure on, on the whole airplane to have a and good braking And it went quite action. easy on the braking, so it didn't even go full brakes, you know, exactly. so we could have stopped much, much earlier yeah. even. And then you see we, uh, we just used half of the runway here. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, there is a replaced, displaced threshold, and then we just used... You know, we could go off the first taxiway. Um, impressive plane. You know that I flew the CJ2 Plus as a co-pilot for a long time. And um, it's a very nice plane as well, but this one beats it by, by miles, you know. Yeah, and you see how nicely you can fly that plane once you're a little bit conservative. We came over that pass. We lo slowed down flaps 8, flaps 15. You could easily fly with 135 knots that circling with flaps 15 mm -hmm. with these FMS speeds on. You, you just need to fly the flight pass and level. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know... The other throttle is doing the stuff. The only thing, once we then um, set the gear down and started a slow descent, um, you, you gave me a little bit too much bank on 45 degrees. Huh? For me, it wasn't enough. But you I see, I would have liked to do a 50 you, degree. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> you we see, we still have so, the dynamic speed bug, right? But, it helps us. But you thought maybe it's required, but we are so nice and slow with the full flaps, yeah, with the flap 33 set, a 30 degrees bank turn yeah. that works perfectly. Yeah. So give him a chance. Next time. Next time, exactly. One big problem with this plane is though, 
it could happen now that when I fly the PC-12 that I dream of the PC-24 and that's a big downside, you know? <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Right and Engine Start. Gehst du auf Right to Run. Dann schauen wir, dass wir da keine Caption haben. Pump, no additional Caption, jetzt kannst du starten drücken. Genau. Start in Idle and Two. Hein? Light up is checked and one is checked and two fuel flow, engine oil pressure, temperature. All temperature rise is checked as well. We have uh, ignition off and 590 first peak. 590 above. 50 start off. Completed, huh? And then GPU have accounts. Flap, clap, and comes to yet setzen. Uh, you set the flaps to uh, 8, we said, huh? we have speeds for 8. Then you can do flight controls, please. Left up, Left. three panels. Right down and... Check and right up, go, go to the right. Yep, okay, mines are down now, that's good. Voilà. So got Avionics are set for the moment, don't need anything more than... Shocks have the and brakes. Yep, yeah, exactly. Let me quickly go up here and do heading up. Good. And then ECS you have already done, huh? That's left good. Left engine start. Yeah, left engine start, yeah. Cars is clear. Left engine start, yeah. So we have start ignition N1, ITT 679. And to about 50, start off. Complete. Yes, yes, yeah, we're already on one. That should be all automatic. Gas is gross not available, that's checked. I think the sliders we can leave like this, that's good. All clear signal, we have the chocks off and doors closed and next is taxi check. Okay. Uh, actually we can uh, skip this one, defer. We can quickly do flight instruments. We have no flag on one, two, three, four, five, checked. Except the DME flag, huh? otherwise it's all good. See, SV POS you have on your side, that's because of GPS. Yep. Uh, go on. Uh, system summary, gear, flaps 8, park brake, TAT. Uh, trims for flaps 8 is 2.1, set. And uh, we have 2.5 on board and Burx is in there, good. IPS is set, checked, oil disciplines not required, take off briefing, huh? So we have a short <coughs> runway, huh? Uh, we have set the V-speeds for uh, V1 is 91, so we can abort up to 91. Once we pass the, the not one number, Decision speed. we go into the air, huh? We make sure we have 8 yard thrust, uh, positive rate we put the gear up. 8 yard thrust or take off thrust? 8 yard thrust, we'll have the 8 yard here, or we can go firewall. We have to firewall the engines, so uh, all the, the remaining engine, all the way forward. Or, but it does uh, it in automatically. In case of engine failure. In case of engine failure. Ah, okay. Yes, of yeah. course. Okay. But now, no, you do a normal takeoff. Yeah, take takeoff. Yeah. Huh? Good. And then we go. Um, 
and fly the lowest part uh, out the valley, climb to 7,500 and probably go to, to Bern, sort out the checklist and land in Bern or in books, whatever okay. suits us best. Uh, take a briefing complete. Then you can go and... Was klar hinten? Okay. Looks okay, yeah. Good, so brakes is next, eh? So Pirados 172 is taxiing and lining up now, now runway 26 uh, for departure to Burgs. Okay, give you the park break. Pirados 172, runway 26 in use. Take off at your discretion, thank you. Take off our discretion, uh, runway 26, Pirados 172. Okay, also uh, the can still break, so right. south, check from the three train. Okay, check yours, yep. but after the turn. Exactly. Turning to the right, brought to the left once, twice, three times, ADI, HSI, steady in rear speed. Check. Approach sector right is clear. Yep. Left is clear as well. Turning left for back track. Check. So you can so we check the brakes, just go down the runway and line up and we, are, we can go. So the lineup is system summary cast, the RAS is not available, the lights are set for now. And the weather radar is not required right now. We can see it, we don't go into clouds. Then the lineup check is complete, then the next one is going to be the climb check. This runway is in good shape, uh, look at it. Yeah, this part has at least. I think it's done it newly, huh? Looks like so new. we do a manual takeoff. Huh? We don't use any uh, auto thrust, we do, okay. do not use anything else. The only thing what is you go to the second soft stop uh, once you hold the brakes, huh? Okay. So static again, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then you can see we have to turn right out there, so immediately okay. right turn. Yep. Um, VFC only. Check. Here we go. Zero eight, and you can add power, and I'm ready. We go on uh, heading mode. Ah uh, no, no oh flight direct. No flight direct. You look outside, you fly the yeah. valley, huh? Okay, good. So we got the flaps on eight. That's what you want. Yep. And we go into the takeoff and we wait for the full takeoff power and with brakes on, then release a brake, then go out, climb a little bit straight and then right after. Yes, exactly. Right right. Okay. Uh, Pilatus 172 is taking off from way 26 uh, down to the west and can, uh, coming over at uh, towards Kings. Okay. Here we go. Check. Yes, exactly. No brakes. Okay, the power is set. No, That's good. 100. <laughs> We have a good acceleration. Yeah, speed is alive. 60, yeah. check. V1 coming up. Check. V1, V1 rotate. Okay. Positive rate, brakes. Yeah. To get up. Yeah, we are going to turn to the right. Yeah, very good. And above 400 feet is next. Flaps. Flaps. Speed is checked. And you just yeah, keep the pitch up, keep okay, the pitch okay. up, we don't relax the right. And then we go left a little bit, is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what pitch do you want? 14? And or we can go at 17. Check. Pitch 14? Or? Yeah, something like this. It's not 70 is a great speed. You see the speed reference from the FMS? Yeah, yeah. It's 170. Yeah. I can get you uh, manual speed. That's good. So uh, you can turn a little bit to the right and then to the left, to the eastbound. Okay. Huh? Fly 170 and just climb to 75. Huh? You can also do a continuous right turn if you want. That also works. Okay, that's just a continuous yeah, yeah. right turn. Yeah, just go right. And level at 75. Actually, we can go 95. Okay. Weather should be fine. Right, just down there again? Yeah. Okay. No, you can just uh, turn eastbound towards Borgs. I give you Borgs. Direct to activate. So you can fly 
the reference here, uh, fu fully rolled in, if you want. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you see, you, you, you roll out about this, yeah, that's good. Roll out, roll out, roll out. And, yeah, exactly. Getting a little bit calm, we're gonna do a little bit of maneuvering, huh? Alright, so we just departed from Stad Airport after a quick lunch break and uh, are now cruising uh, back towards the home of Pilatus in uh, Stanz and we'll do a uh, VFR approach and end our little demo tour. Fantastic. fortunate because we don't have to spend a lot of money and go very far to get good marketing photos <laughs> so we just go to our backyard and uh, and take some pictures yeah okay so i think we have a, a nice spot here that's pretty good so you can um, go 90 degrees to the right or the 360 to the right you could just you could just get, get 45 degrees bank here and just right keep the altitude yeah Yeah, that's good. You can trim a little bit if you want. Yeah. Oops. So it's really nice and stable, huh? You can and you can fly it on with the fly pass symbol. Yeah, just fly like you used to, huh? about 14.8 or 15,000 that gives you 96. We go straight to the lake or? Uh, yeah, you can go back to the normal track we have been before. I don't know which one, this one here. Know that. Okay. And now you slow down a little bit to about 160. We do a little bit of trimmability because there's a, trip, a pitch trim compensation. So you fly, fly, nicely flight pass. And you see the pitch, and you don't trim right now. You see the trim is at 1.3, yeah? Yep. Now if you select flap A, it's speed is checked, you'll see there's an auto trim feature. Once the flaps are running out, it trims 0.5. Oh, okay. huh? You see, so, but keep, no, keep, keep the pass. You still have to do the, the pass. There's, it's, not, it's not trimming out everything, huh? Okay, it's okay. just, it's just a little you. part. Just helps you, okay. It helps you a little bit, yeah. When you experienced Uli during the lunch break, what, what is your guess? Do you have chances that one day we have an Uli PC24? 
looks not bad because uh, I guess he enjoys the aircraft, he enjoys the, the way how the aircraft is flying because a lot of things are similar to his PC-24, it's even a brand new one, with PC all the front, uh, sorry PC-12 with uh, all the throttle in and the, all this, this uh, gimmicks and makes it easy for him to fly this aircraft. And I think it's good for, uh, it fits his personality if he's looking for a, a challenge to fly something bigger and faster, single pilot as well. I think uh, he'll very much enjoy the challenge of flying this. Yeah, it's a really good thing. It was a strategy for Pilatus to bring a lot of things in the PC-20 from. The people coming from PC-12 have an upgrade. So, and we have a couple of people who are not professional pilots and like yep. to fly a jet as well. And it makes it easier for them to transfer. So now you see we have flaps eight, so the roll assist should actually work. So if you, if you want to roll to the left, to the left, Ah, so now it would go this way. Now we go abrupt, look outside and go abrupt to the right. Go gear. to the right. Gear. Gear. Ah, they come out, yeah. Gear. You see, huh? They're coming gear. out. Huh? Come out yeah. Gear. Gear. Oh, okay. So I had a little bit of power here gear. with the other thrust. Gear. Could you leave it? Gear. Oh, you have all gear. Uh, just gear. put it on. Good. So, okay. We got a bit slow, but you saw how that works, huh? Yeah. Um, it helps you maneuvering the airplane, huh? Yep. Okay, so you can uh, retract the flaps again, uh, speed is good, and you can you can fly again towards the heading back here. Okay, yeah. Shall we go through the belly there? Along yeah, the you can just flee on, no, flee, uh, be on top of these mountains here. Okay. So we can, we can avoid uh, crossing mining. speed and you just maintain 9,500 feet. Nice acceleration there. Eh? Yeah, yeah it does it nicely. CPCS is good for works. IPS not required. Fuel, two, three. Gas, clean, briefing. As as mentioned, tap one zero one zero to QNH. Then approach check. Uh, ultimate is hard to go. But now you can turn a little bit to the right here. Uh, sorry, wrong knob. Heading 065, this is good. Uh, yeah, the aircraft was uh out in the Kazakhstan area the last couple of days and flew uh, back last night from Moscow back to Stalins direct. And uh, now we will uh, bring it back to the factory and uh, from there will it uh, do more demonstration or? Yeah, we will we'll leave this afternoon to Cologne. Okay. We'll head to Cologne and have a demo tomorrow in uh, Cologne, Luxembourg. Okay. So this is what this aircraft usually does, right? Demonstration yes. flights. Yes, as long as we we have it and are able to show it, the interest is, is very high all over the world. And uh, so we try to bring it to as many people as we can. Uh, the airport we are landing at at the moment, this is not a public airfield, right? It's only a factory airport, is that right? No, it's a, uh, it's a public airfield. Oh. Anybody can land there and uh, we have as Pilatus are just the most frequent users okay. uh, as we all settle there, but anybody can, anybody can land there. Well, since the factory is uh, not at the runway or next to the, uh, uh, the runway, we need to cross the main road to get to the, the uh, landing strip or takeoff strip. And so we have a 
clever traffic light system that gives priority to our aircraft across the street. How does it work technically? Uh, there's a, a frequency that you uh, key with the microphone that then activates the traffic lights. The car have a red light and the aircraft gets a green light and then we go. You see that there is clear of clouds on the right. Yeah. So we fly towards that ridge. You could start descent about, I think it's about 6,500 feet. But not the first valley, huh? the second one, that, there in the back. Okay, well... So we want to pass this around 6,500 feet, huh? Yeah, we've we'll gone down to 6,500 feet yep. now with the vertical speed yep. of 5,000. No, no, and just... And then go low. Yeah, just... Uh, <laughs> 5,000. No, no, we'll just do a nice gentle descent, yeah. Good. And we change to 1010. Uh, so change altimeter to set. Final VNF, I just said we're going to be... Uh, I actually want to set it. You feel the turbulence, uh, so there is wind. And you see now, you're, you're actually quite low here. Um, just you see the gap ahead? We have to pass that pass there. Huh? Okay. And you see in the back, there are no clouds in an yeah, area. Yeah. We, were, we used this, this gap to Throw descent. Huh? Okay. Uh, actually, we just stay right of the valley. We don't have to descend quickly, but uh, I'll give you the next, next step soon. Huh? Yeah, well, we can go here to this and then... 1962. Yeah, I think you can actually reduce now to about 180 if you're happy. Yep. If 160 is good. Yeah. Boros comes up after this lake, right? Yes, uh, you see this peaky mountain yeah, in the background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Boros is just to the left, in behind oh, that okay. mountain, because that's the Stanzerhorn. Okay, so we go below these clouds here? Uh, you don't need oh, to hurry. Just, right. just okay. stay on the right of the valley. Okay. And start slow descent yeah, towards initially 4,000 feet. Uh, okay. Or 4 5. Tower, Guten Nachmittag, Pilatus 172, PC24, overhead, third back, passing 6,700, descent to 3,000 for crossing and landing in works via Hans Animals. Central, hello, can I charge you to the end? Report approaching Hans. Report approaching Hans, Pilatus 172. miles to go and you see advisory enough although this is on three degrees we could do that four degrees so you get a, a an advisory here which is correct wait preselected to oh, three thousand and you see the lake on the left there yes, yes, in the background the lake, yeah. no we don't go over the lake you go on the right you see a valley which is yes, very yes. nice and green yeah, yeah, yeah. so you point uh, afterwards to that valley. Just stay on the right at the moment because there is a village over there we're going to pass overhead yeah, and then we then descend. Then so we, we descend stay. Then we go right into that valley. Exactly, okay. yeah. You keep on going like this, yeah. And also the rate of descent is fine, it's all good. You don't need to hurry, yeah, exactly, because there at the end of that green valley we have to be around the 3,000 feet. So I'm grown up down here in that village. Ah, okay. right? Sarn and this is Sarn. Nice. They have their little airport, you see that Kegis wheel down there? Yeah, yeah. That's a 900 meter old military. That's where engineer is a small plane, right? Yeah. 
The 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 tangle engine piece. 800 meters. Uh, 900 meters is the total length, yeah, but. But good for the PC-12. It, it would be good for the PC-12, but it has, obviously, you have to approach um, over the village. And, and most of the bigger pair planes, they go to box. Is there parking for a PC-12 there or not? Uh, not really. On the grass, huh? No? Uh, on the grass, yeah, yeah. You could, you could land there and, and park if you want, yeah. Yeah, well, we have different lighting in the cabin where we have the overhead, we have upwash lighting and downwash lighting that we have, as well as under the table shroud down here, which just gives a very nice uniform lighting, especially when it gets uh, darker and keeps the cabin nice and bright, makes it feel homey, safe and, uh, and big that you have. Could you just pull out the, sh uh, the table briefly? Just... You can gamble a little bit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Superb, thank you. Wow, it's huge. Let us come out, yeah. It's, it's a nice surface. It's not only huge. The really big advantage is that you can sit and have your knees below. Even yeah. yeah, that's right. So, it's and, a gap. and it's really, really stable. Yeah. Yeah, you see, that's good. Yeah. Don't uh, accelerate, yeah, too, too past. Go around the village or? No, that's fine, straight on. Perfect. Uh, yeah, keep one degrees, keep flat. That's good. So, I would select flaps 8 now, speed is checked, checked, and then you can go to FMS speeds. Very good, yeah. Pilatus on 7-2, overhead, Gans, 4,000 feet. Pilatus on the third camp of Burk, Victor's Mauna, 65, landing on the 0-6, Roger, looking for straight in 0-6, changing box, Pilatus on 7-2, Docker. Thank you. Airport located for landing 0-6. Okay, and now use flaps 1-5, further reduce the speed, we check the point down a little bit more, maybe 3 degrees, you see now the pass is there, you can rely on that pass. So you can uh, do four degrees or so, yeah, exactly. First tower low, hot bro, Pilatus 172 is overhead, um, and it's both passing 3700 for landing. Pilatus 172, both tower low, change of plane, descent to 3000 feet, proceed via overhead into right and downwind 06, west of the run, we check due to bird. Okay, coming overhead 3000 feet, Pilatus 172. Okay. For right hand downwind. So we go over yep. at 3000 and then we come around. Yeah, all the time we have to check for birds. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, for the traffic circuit. Hey, firm. Uh, to continue stadium, runway 06. Look out high for the activity, but the runway control is on the runway. Roger, to continue straight in 06. So you have to drop down a little bit more because we're still above the glide. So let the nose drop to 10 pass. Okay. Then. Was the runway located that travel? And we have flow flaps. Yeah. Air brake comes in. Yeah, very good. On puppy. On puppy comes, yeah. 06, clear to land. Clear to land 06, clear to land 02. It's the runway here. And 008 is secure on the edge and the tailwind is checked. Yeah, a little bit of trust. Check, a little bit nose up. Yeah, good, stable. Yeah, very nice. Point at the, at the runway, point oh. at the runway. Very good. 100. Point at the runway. 50. Yeah. 40. 30. 20. 10. Yep, yeah, if we flare a bit high. And we go a little bit off the center line, huh? Okay. So now, and now you can break. Very nice. Good. We can go out here. That's easy. Taxi to the factory. Taxi to the factory on the schönen Abend, Dagmar. Merci. Danke dir auch und merci für das Flexibilität. Go, Dagmar. Danke dir auch und merci für das Flexibilität. Go, Dagmar. Danke dir auch und merci für das Flexibilität.
If this was an Uli landing, it was a perfect landing. Okay guys, then we have to do it. The Uli is used to it. Und hat Spaß gemacht, vielen Dank. <laughs> Sehr schön. Now, lift up in, you just give a little bit of trust. Then they go in, huh? and okay. then we'll be able to get the flaps up. Huh? Good. And I do... Clear, lift tight. Yeah, very good, just continue to the left. Two, one, uh, you see this sign, three clicks on 121. That's 905 and... Okay, and the tanks huh? were what, half full or...? No, I mean, we only had 2,500 pounds. Okay. That's not even half. 3,000 pounds would okay. be half. So you could, you could just go to Paris or maybe to Egelsbach. Okay. Just, just all right. Don't go tank about when we are ready for taxi. Cows are still at lunch. <laughs> Eleven twenty seven. The first one after. No, just continue one. here. Oh, okay. We have to go back there. Okay. Oh, where we came out, huh? Okay. Eleven twenty seven. We have ninety one point six. Fine here, huh? Good, yeah. And all the way back there where we came from, right? Yep. You see that amber point there? Yes. So go a little bit to the right once you can, and then go parallel to this line and point the nose wheel onto that amber dot. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, slow, 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 stop. Thank you. Good. Park brake, please. Uh, park brake set, cabin is depressurized. Yes, uh, IPS mode selector is all auto. Left and right in engine off, please. Thank you very much. It was a great experience. I love the plane. I love flying with you, definitely. It was great fun. Uh, I think it all comes together. A nice plane, a good instructor and a very, very nice scenery, some very nice approaches. And I felt very safe and very secure on the plane. Felt very safe and secure next to you. And it gives me something to think about. Huh? Okay, yeah, that, I really appreciate it that I could show you the 24 uh, today. Uh, obviously, I love to fly in this terrain. You, you see is, that. Yeah, it's huh? nice, yeah. It's great. And uh, yeah, I hope we can do some more flying together. And the one thing we have to check now if Delta Charlie uniformly my India is still available, but I think it is, right? Maybe we're I should reserve it. Huh? We're looking forward. Okay. <laughs> Teddy, Uli, take it tip easy. top, danke. Okay. <laughs> Airclips.com